Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we will be installing Windows 11 Pro on our Mac with an Intel processor in just 15 minutes. We will neither use Bootcamp nor OpenCore for this guide. So this is the quickest way to dual boot Windows 11 on your Mac. First, let's talk about the issues that most people face and how we will overcome those issues and install Windows 11 Pro on our Mac in just 15 minutes. So if you use Bootcamp or OpenCore, the major issue with that method is that it takes around 2 hours for the complete installation of Windows 11. You have to first install Windows 10 and then upgrade it to Windows 11 due to lack of Windows 11 support on Bootcamp. Also, the Bootcamp method requires a minimum of 100 GB of storage. The method that I will be sharing today just needs 30 GB of your hard disk storage and the complete process takes just around 15 minutes. Now, let's talk about the things that we will need. So first, we will need the Windows install tool on your Mac. Then, we will need the Tiny11 ISO file for Windows 11. Tiny11 ISO is the modded version of Windows 11 without the bloat and clutter of standard Windows installation. Then, we will need the Windows 11 drivers for your supported Mac models. So I will share all the links in the video description below. And lastly, we will need a USB drive for storing our Windows 11 drivers for Mac. Now let's get started. First, open any browser and go to this URL. So this is Windows install tool for Mac OS that helps you install Windows on a Mac OS based on Intel chips. So just click on the download button and your downloading will begin. As I have already downloaded the file, so I will skip this process. Next, we will download the Tiny11 ISO file. As mentioned previously, Tiny11 ISO is the modded version of Windows 11 that will take up a very little storage space on your hard drive. This is great for users who have 128GB of SSD on their Macs and still want to dual boot both macOS and Windows. Under the download options, click on Windows to download the file and save it to your desktop. So as I have already downloaded this 3.5GB of Tiny11 ISO file, so I will stop this download and then close both these tabs. Next, we will download our hardware drivers for Windows 11. To do that, just go to this website and scroll down a bit. Here you will see the list of Mac models. You can find the list of drivers for MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, iMacs, etc. So for this video, I am using a MacBook Air 13-inch 2017 model. So I will go back to their website and then click on MacBook Air. So if you scroll down below, you will find the list of all the MacBook Air models. So since I have 2017 model with 13 inch display, I will download the respective file. Just click here and save the file to your desktop. You can then see a zip file of around 1.5 GB saved onto your desktop. If you find it hard to look for drivers for your Mac, just comment down your Mac model and I will share the direct link to download your Windows 11 drivers. And lastly, we will have this text file for activating Windows 11 Pro after the installation is complete. So these are all the required files for installing Windows 11 Pro on an Intel Mac in just 15 minutes. Once all the files are downloaded, we will move on to the next steps. So click on Launchpad and search for Disk Utility and open the application. Now, we will create a separate partition for Windows 11. So just select your main drive and click on the partition button. Now click on the plus sign to add a new partition. Now we will allot the space for our Windows 11 partition by moving the bar. So I will set aside 50 GB for my Windows 11. If you have less space, you can reduce it to 40 GB as well. So the over overall space needed by Windows 11 is around 26 GBs and the rest we will keep aside for our softwares. Under partition information, set a name for your partition. I will keep it Windows 11. Under format, select XFAT. Once everything is thoroughly checked, you can click on the apply button. On this pop-up, click on the partition button. Now click on continue and your Mac OS will freeze for a while. So this process will take some time depending upon the size and speed of your SSD drive. Once the partition is created, 
you will see both the macOS partition and your Windows 11 partition in your disk utility. Once done, close the disk utility. Moving on, double click on the Windows install folder. Now, double click on the Windows install file to run the application. So if you see this pop-up, this means your macOS system is not allowed to run apps that are from unidentified developers. So just click on OK. Now, open your system settings and go to security and privacy. Now click on the lock icon and type in your password to be able to make changes. Now go to the general tab and then click on open anyway under allow apps downloaded from. On this pop-up, click on open. With this, we will now be able to use our Windows install application. Once you click on open, you will see the interface of Windows install application. Here, first start by typing in your macOS account password. The next step is to drag and drop your tiny 11 ISO file that you have downloaded previously onto your Windows install app. Once done, you will see Windows 11 Pro as the available edition. Again, Open your disk utility and wait for all the drives to load up. Once loaded, select your Windows 11 partition. Under Devices, you will see something with a disk and a number followed by S and a number again. So it's disk 0 S4. Now go back to your Windows install app. Under Disk, set it to 0 and then set S to 4. Make sure you type in the exact same disk and S number onto your Windows install application. Under Index, set it to 1. This should correspond to the edition of Windows you want to install. So since we have only one available version that is Windows 11 Pro, we will set the index to 1. Once everything is confirmed, click on the Install button. So this process will take some time and install Windows 11 Pro directly onto your Windows 11 partition of your Mac. The time taken for the complete installation depends on the speed of your SSD. For me, the complete installation steps took just 11 minutes. So once the process is finished, you can close the Windows install application. With this, our Windows 11 installation is complete. And in just 11 minutes, we have managed to successfully install Windows 11 or our Intel Mac. Here are a few other things that you need to take care of now. So now, just insert your USB drive. Now double click on the driver zip file to extract the folder that contains all the drivers for our Windows 11. So this will take a while and you will then see your drivers folder. Once the folder is extracted, just copy and paste both the drivers folder and the activate Windows text file onto your USB drive. So this will take a while depending upon the speed of your USB drive. Once done, it's time to restart your Mac into the boot mode. So as soon as you press the restart button, press and hold the options key on your keyboard to be able to boot into the boot menu. Now you will see these two options. You can either boot into your Mac OS or your Windows 11. Just select Windows and click on the arrow. Once done, you will now see your Windows logo. Now your Windows will start loading its services and this might take some time. For me, it took around 3 minutes and then you will see the Windows 11 official logo. Now here, select your country and press yes. Now select your desired keyboard layout. I will select English India and then click on yes. Under the secondary keyboard, click on skip. Under let's connect to network, click on I don't have internet. Here, just click on continue with limited setup. Now agree to the terms and conditions by clicking on the agree button. Now type in your full name and click on next. Now type in your password and then click on next again. Under security questions, select any three questions and submit your answer. Once done, click on next. Under privacy settings, click on next again and then click on the accept button. So that's it, your Windows installation is now complete. Wait for a while on the screen and then you will be redirected to your Windows 11 desktop. Now, we will start by installing our drivers. So just open your USB drive and open the drivers folder. Now go to the bootcamp folder and double click on the setup file. So these are the basic installation steps. You can follow the on-screen instructions and install all the drivers on your Windows. Now, this file take a while and all your drivers will be installed on your Windows 11. Also, 
your screen might fluctuate a few times, so do not panic. Once the installation is complete, click on the finish button and restart your Mac. With this, we have successfully installed Windows 11 Pro on our Mac. You can now connect to your Wi-Fi and also check and see if all the settings are working properly. Now, if I go to settings, you can see that your Windows is not activated. So now, follow the on-screen instructions. Once done, you will see the confirmation pop-up. To install all the software and driver updates, click on Settings and then click on Windows Updates. Scroll down a bit and then click on Advanced Options. Now click on Optional Updates and then check all Windows, Drivers and other updates. Once done, click on Download and Install. With this, all these updates will be pipelined to your Windows updates. The updates will run in the background and in the meantime, click on Start. Now click on Apple Software Updates. Now this will search for new available updates from Apple. Once all these updates are visible, click on the Install button. So this might take a while and all your updates will be installed onto your Windows 11. Now you can enjoy your Windows 11 Pro on your Mac. Now if you want to switch between the operating systems, all you need to do is press and hold the Options key on the Restart. From the Boot menu, you can either choose Windows 11 or your Mac OS. So that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like these. I'll see you in the next one.